Good morning to all of you that are tuning in to the Unknown Prophet. I am bringing a, a word that ties in with almost with last month, last week, excuse me. It appears that God does have an interest in his animals. Those of you who watched last week knew I talked about the chimpanzees, orangutan, and the gorilla. And the one I'm going to bring you now was one that was given me back on the 17th of last month. But I think that this is the one that the Father has asked me to give to you tonight or today. And it again deals with a gorilla. So without further ado, I'll get into the vision that I saw and what the Father said. As I received the vision, I saw a great gorilla, a silverback, and he was moving through the jungle, and suddenly a lion charged him, and he simply destroyed it. With his powerful hands and arms, he literally tore the lion apart. As he moved on, a giant python tried to get its coils around him, and again, he simply grabbed it swung it against the trees and destroyed it. I said, Father, that looks a little bit like Psalm 91 in action. Is that what you wanted me to see? And he said, yes. And now speak what I give you. Let me run this up a little bit so I can see what I'm speaking here. He said, speak what I give you. The gorilla is my country, America. It has been attacked by the roaring lion who roams about seeking whom it may kill, the evil one himself. And he has managed to destroy and kill many. But I am raising up my country to attack the lion and destroy him. Again, the serpent is just another way that the enemy shows himself in attempting to take over the country and destroy those who stand for me. He is deceiving and speaking lies. And as the great gorilla, I will pick up the serpent and smash him to pieces. I am saying this to you now, my people. Psalm 91 is for this country and many other countries. I will have my country and my countries back. I will not allow you who stand against me and my word and my church to destroy that which, in this case, this country has twice dedicated to me and which I accepted as my own. Hear me and watch me. I, the Lord God, have spoken this and I will bring it about. This nation will once again be known as a nation under God. It's interesting that right after I received that word, the next day I was scrolling through Facebook. And as many of you know, they have a series of little shorts on Facebook many times. And one of the shorts was a big old gorilla. And he had a python in his hand by the neck and he apparently killed it. And he was dragging it with him through the jungle. So he was, he not only gave me the word about this, but he also backed it up with a vision. Psalm 91 is a powerful psalm. Those of you who don't know, it was a psalm used during the First World War by a particular division. They chose to read that psalm every morning before they went into battle. And they fought in one of the deadliest and bloodiest areas. And there was not a single division or group in their area that not, did not have massive losses of men. That particular group that chose to do this lost not one single man. It has become known as a soldier's psalm. 
but it's one that carries a lot of strength, a lot of promise. It's one that I myself read every morning. I have transposed the words of it to include not just me, but my family. And so when I read it, I transpose the words to say, Lord, this is what you're doing for us. This is what we're asking. And I have made it from that standpoint, my soul. I recommend that you look it up and that you think about the words that it has and you might consider making it your soul. That's all I have for today. This is the Unknown Prophet Fred Watkins signing off, and I hope you have a blessed, blessed week.